Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to this video on interfaces in C Sharp. Now this is the conceptual video and the next ones we're going to get hands on with it. So check those out as well. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. Now I did an interfaces video for another series and it really quickly got complex and a little bit confusing. So I decided in this video just to talk to you guys to help you guys understand their purpose rather than trying to write stuff out on the chalkboard. So what is the purpose of an interface? It is essentially a collection <laughs> I'll try not to be too conceptual here. It's essentially a collection of things that we promise to put in our class if we decide to implement this interface. So it's very common to make interfaces define behaviors. So in the situation of animals, let's say we have a cat. We can create an interface in our code that the cat can implement, but not only the cat, dogs can implement it, and any other animals can implement it that it would be appropriate for. So we could have an interface, I walk, and by convention it starts with an I, and any class that decides to implement I walk, it promises to have balance, the ability to go forward, and so forth. And we can create a bunch of interfaces that define behavior. Various other ones could be I sleep, I reproduce, and in the case of cats, I can hash cheeseburger. We basically define all these behaviors and it allows us to make a promise that if I implement one of these interfaces, then you can trust me to be able to do this thing. We talked about this briefly earlier on when we were talking about the for each loop. Anything that can be used in a for each loop implements I enumerable, which is an interface. It's a promise saying I can be used inside of a for each. So if you wanted, you could create a custom class, you could implement I enumerable, and then you could use your class inside of a for each loop. So we can do the same thing with custom interfaces if we want to basically define behaviors. Now, implementing an interface is similar in nature to inheriting from a class, but it's a little bit different. One, you can only inherit from one class directly. I mean, you can inherit from multiple through the chain for the inheritance hierarchy, but you can't say this class inherits from this class and this class. You can only put one. But with interfaces, you can put numerous of them. The other thing is that classes often define what an object is, whereas interfaces often define what a class can do. So think of the classes as nouns and the interfaces as verbs. Inside of the interface, we can define what methods have to exist in order for someone to implement this interface, but we don't have to put the actual body, the code, that's left up to the class. But when we inherit from classes, all that code is passed down to the derived class. So all of that information, just to conclude with interfaces are a promise for certain behaviors and classes are defining what something is. In the next video, we're going to create an interface and we'll see a little bit more on the differences between interfaces and classes. So check it out. It's going to be awesome. And I'll see you.